This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 5, and it reads, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. <clears throat> all praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. All praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world and calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers, he saves. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Rakaha Kodash, spirit holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one of the who taught me this truth. Peace, salutation to the Akyam, fellow laborers, the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To that Gwathi listen and listen and learn in sincerity and truth and in silence. Shalom. Akya meaning brothers, Akwathi meaning sisters. Shalom meaning peace be unto you. This is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. Right? And uh, uh Esau He's a uh, it's got a lot going on, right? A lot of distractions out there. And there's also a lot of uh, bold in your face moves taking place that Esau is doing, right? And uh, today news came out that uh, there was a uh, Tainted water leaking from a nuclear power plant in Minnesota, right? But the, the what 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 stands out is that they're now saying the leak took place in November in November of last year, 2022, and they're now just releasing the the the. The news that this took place, right? And the first thing that comes to mind is uh, Esau and his uh, false flags. Because no matter no matter what, we know that this 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 wicked man wants to kill off the tribes, right? We know that this wicked man. It's all about the birthright, right? We know that this wicked man wants to kill off a great amount of people. On this planet, in the name of population control, amongst him and his uh, elites, right? So we see the banking crisis going on. This morning, news release, news release that there's tainted water. Right. Uh, a few weeks ago was the the train derailment. Isaiah twenty four verse five, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, right? This place is defiled. Esau, Esau, Edom, the Idumian, he's defiled this place. Because they have transgressed the laws, right? This place is not being ruled in righteousness. Right? Land Sabbath is not observed. Right? Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Let's read this in the NLT. The earth suffers for the sins of its people, for they have twisted the Most High's instructions, violated his laws, and broken his everlasting covenant. Right? This place is not being ruled in righteousness. 
and until Yahweh Shai comes back. This is the state of things. Want to watch this interview? The Lord willing will attach some more scripture. Leak at a nuclear power plant. Active leak at a nuclear power plant right here in Minnesota. XL Energy says it happened at its plant in Monticello last November. Now contaminated water is slowly creeping toward the Mississippi River. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke with agencies about how they plan to stop it and why it took months for the public to find out. Jeff Rowan lives about a half a mile from XL Energy's nuclear power plant in Monticello. He had no idea that four months ago, 400,000 gallons of radioactive water leaked in the facility. Yeah, that, that concerns me. That they wouldn't, somebody would have, wouldn't have told, especially the city should have let us know. Somebody should have let us know. Both XL and the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency released statements about the leak Thursday afternoon, making it public knowledge for the first time. They say on November 22nd, they discovered a pipe leaking the radioactive water and began it. Almost four months now, why are people just now hearing about this? If at any point there had been a concern for the public safety, we would of course immediately uh, provided much more information, uh, but we also wanted to make sure we fully understood what was going on uh, before we started raising any concerns with with the public around us. Both XL and the Minnesota Department of Health say at this point, there's no risk to the public. The plant is located about three quarters of a mile away from the Mississippi River, and officials tell me none of that leaked water has reached the river, at least not yet. The uh, groundwater beneath the facility, it's been uh, determined that it moves in the direction of the Mississippi River uh, slowly, but, but that's the direction that it flows or moves underground. As crews work to keep the leaked water on site at the plant and retrieve it from underground, they say the rain and snow we're getting now is actually helping. Actually, as the snow melts and contributes to water in the river, that actually creates a natural pressure uh, that will push uh, the water that leaked from our plant back toward the plant. So nature is actually working with us here, which is good. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. The state emphasizes the leak has not contaminated any drinking water wells. XL says it plans on powering down the plant next month to remove and repair the broken pipe. Right. You can't you can't listen to this 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 uh this demon. This devil, you can't listen to him. He, he he's a liar, right? And he, he's always got seven more abominations in his heart, heart being mine. Isaiah twenty six, verse ten, and it reads, "Let favor be showed to the wicked." Right? Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. Right? This is his rulership. This is his 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 his, his heaven. Right? Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness, right? The Mosai scripture says, uh, promotion cometh neither from the east nor the west, right? The Lord put this man in rulership. Right? Yet, yet will he not learn righteousness, right? He's, he's going to be wicked. That's his job. He was created to be the wicked. In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh? Right, because the Lord's not dealing with him. Right? He's not calling on the Lord. The scripture said, The fool saith, There is no God. He's talking about Esau. Right, and uh, the, these 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 ruling class elites can go uh, they can go in many directions. You know what I mean? They can go they can go in the direction of fifteen minute cities, right? There's a, a environmental protection agency, right? They could declare it a, a contaminated land, right? Right. Snatch people up, throw them in uh, uh, internment camps, right? 
United States Environmental Protection Agency. Let's look up something. Right, they could they could uh, they could come in the uh, in the in the in the in the name of a uh, temporary relocation. Pesticide removal project, July nineteen ninety five. So only one page, so like, but 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 uh, this Idumian, right? Everything he does is 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 uh tied to legislation, right? But this is a this is a direction that he can go. And I'm not going to waste too much time on this. See? The contents preparing for your temporary relocation. Where will I be relocated while my home is being cleaned up? When will I need to move? How do I move to my temporary housing? Right? Because Esau, listen. Everything, everything shrouded in, in, and 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 everything is shrouded in legislation, rules, laws. Right? We know this diabolical madman wants to collapse the dollar right mandate the grain of rice revelation 13 verse 16 on down we know he wants to kill off the tribes right and we know that he's wicked we know that he's going to use many layers of wickedness Isaiah 14 verse 6 he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke Right, Esau smote the people in wrath, smote Jake, smote Jake, Jacob, Israel being a people for a place in wrath. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Right, when Yahweh returns, the whole earth is going to be at rest and quiet. Right, verse eight. Yeah, the fir tree rejoice at thee, right? Because this man has destroyed lands, Amazon rainforests, uh, forest canopies. He's defiled the soil. He's contaminated the waters. So yeah, the fir trees are going to rejoice, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, "Since thou art laid down, right? Since you wicked Idumean have been, since Yahushai came and put his foot on your neck, right?" No feller, feller being a tree cutter, is come up against us. Right? Let's jump down. 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms? Right? Could this man destroy the earth? Right? Esau Eden. What's that scripture in uh Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter ten, verse four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. 
right? Whoever's in rulership, the Lord, the Lord set him up, right? The Most High Yahweh Shemel Shai is in control of things. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable, right? The, 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 king, the, 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 the kingdom to come next, Jacob, Yasharala, right? Then the earth, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's Jacob that is profitable. Right, right now that right right now the way this world is being run, the way this earth is being uh, governed, it's 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 in wickedness, man. Right? Tainted water being leached. Right? And if you look where this uh up in Minnesota, right? The worry is that uh it will get into the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi 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 River runs right down through America right through Illinois through Minnesota Let's see is this one through Minnesota through Iowa through Wisconsin right through Illinois Missouri Arkansas Mississippi right right down through Louisiana Louisiana right down into the, in, in, into the into the the Gulf of Mexico, right? But when you look, all these bodies of water are connected, man, right? All these bodies of water are connected, right? Little rivers, right? The Illinois runs up into Lake Michigan. And what? Lake Michigan is connect connected to all the Great Lakes, Superior. Lake Huron, Erie, Lake Ontario. Right? These bodies of water, the St. Lawrence River, somewhere around here, they run out into the Atlantic. Right? You go further south. Right? The Mississippi River. Right? If it goes if it goes west, these are all bodies of water, man. Right, so let's just say Esau's working on a on a false flag, all right, and he's dumping tainted water into the Mississippi River. In no time, right, these bodies of water will be contaminated, and guess what? Esau can swoop in and say, "We need to temporarily relocate." Right? Right? Or mass numbers of mass bodies of people are being deleted. Isaiah 14 verse 16. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? Right? Go on Esau. When When Esau goes down, right, the whole world, let's look at this word, narrowly. They that see thee shall narrowly, strong H7688, Strong's H7688, Shagach, Shagach, to gaze, stare, glance sharply at, look, Right? I mean, all these other nations going to look on Esau, Edom. Right? Right? Now we really look upon thee and consider thee saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? That, the, that made the world as a wilderness? Who did that? Esau, man. 
and destroy the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. Right, and he didn't let go of Jake, man. Hung on to Jake. Right? Perpetual slaves. To this day, Job 27. And it reads Men shall clap their hands at him And shall hiss him out of his place Right, the whole world gonna rejoice When Esau and Edom is taken out of his rulership man. Right Look at this word hiss Strong's H8319 Strong's H8319. Sharak. Sharak. Yeah, hiss, whistle, pipe, hiss. To be shrill, to whistle, or hiss. You know? People going to be looking on Esau and saying, damn. You know? Shit. You know what I mean? In Jamaica, Benjamin... Benjamin will be kissing their teeth. <laughs> right? Right, the whole world gonna rejoice when this guy's taken out of our rulership. Isaiah 55. Right, and who's gonna do it? Yahweh Shai. Isaiah, Isaiah 55, verse 12. And it reads For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Right? Every, everything is going to rejoice, be happy that this diabolical madman has been removed from his place. Let's close. Isaiah 65. Isaiah 65 verse 17 For behold I create new heavens and a new earth And the former shall not be remembered Nor come into mind Right Because this place is going to be melted with fire And refreshed Right The Lord is going to send his son Yahweh Shai With the hosts of heaven The chariots The ships the Fire laser beams And beam up his elect In tandem with the Thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles which will cause the lake of fire on America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? And then the elect will come out, of, come out of the heavens, out of the ships, New Jerusalem, right? And go forth conquering and plucking out the, the plucking out these ruling class elites out of the caves and their and their and their uh, bunkers. Let's get that. Psalms 148. Right? And establish the kingdom of Israel on earth as it is in heaven. Psalms 149. Psalms 149, verse 6. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. It's talking about the elect, right? When they get those new bodies and they're coming down out of the ships, New Jerusalem, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, right? This is part of the promises, man. To bind their kings with chains, all you elites. All you banking families, you international bankers, and their nobles with fetters of iron, right? Because you're going to be hiding in your bunkers, your, your, your mountain bunkers, the space stations. To execute upon them the judgment written, right? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right? This honor have all his saints, beginning with the elect. The saints are Israelites. Beginning with the elect. 
praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Stay prayed up, prayed all ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.